Hello, good afternoon. Hopefully it's still afternoon by the time you guys get this. I am out of GBs somehow or another. I just got them on the 19th and now it seems <laughs> I'm out again. So um, I'm down to two actually. So it's taking a really long time for my um, videos from Facebook to upload to YouTube. So I'll eventually get them on all in, but I'm not gonna do but like one a day. The ones I'm really um, excited about doing are, um, you know, the ones with Brian, the ones with my friend Mandy and my friend Kurt, and then the ones where I come out about my, you know, drug use. So those are the ones I'm really kind of concentrating on. So how is everybody? Good afternoon. A couple days from uh, Thanksgiving. This is how um, silly I am. Um, I didn't realize that um, Thanksgiving was this week. Yeah, that's better. I didn't realize that Thanksgiving was this week. I actually thought it was next week. When you're self-employed, you kind of lose track of, uh, or at least this self-employed person kind of loses track of uh, that kind of stuff. So, first things first. Um, those of you that don't like the holidays, I include myself in this, um, I'm here. I'm here for you. If um, I'm fortunate in that my sister has invited me to dinner with her and her family for Thanksgiving. Um, not everybody's so fortunate, and I understand that, and um, I feel for you, and I love you, and I'm here for you. I'm gonna say I love you, I really do, because I, I know what it's like to be alone. Both my parents are in heaven, and the Thanksgiving revolved, Thanksgiving, Christmas, those things revolved around my mom and my, um, my aunt, and um, if you're alone right now, um, I feel for you. And you're welcome to hit me up, message me on Facebook. If you can do it on YouTube, if you're more comfortable that way. <laughs> Whatever is um, convenient for you, um, I'm here for you. And um, not that I'm anyone special, but um, I'm your friend. So, first things first. I like to talk about new products, even if I'm not getting endorsed from them, who cares? Um, I love a primer. Those of you who like makeup know what a primer is. Um, and for girls who are special, you women who are special like me, meaning transgendered women, it's good for us to have a primer because it makes our makeup go on um, significantly smoother. Um, the best primer ever created is the one by Laura Geller, Spackle. And she costs a few bucks. Even if you're able to get it on eBay, um, she's kind of expensive. I believe Spackle has some type of silicone in it. Now, that stuff makes your makeup go on <sighs> incredibly. I found a good one the other day at um, the beauty supply store. This is called Cherimoya. It's a skin specialty face primer. Can you see that? $3.99. Very, very good. Of course it's not Lord Yellow Speckle. Spackle. But it's not far from it. You put this on after you use your moisturizers, right before you're going to apply your um, foundation, which of course foundation for me right now is the Wet n Wild Concealer Stick. Full coverage. Girls, those of you that are doing shows and whatever, check it out. $3.99. So, Wet n Wild Concealer Stick. Shamoya. Skin primer, face skin specialty face primer. I don't get anything for saying these, for you know, endorsing these things. These are just things that I like. I got this yesterday too. I'm not crazy about um, bronzer sticks or contouring or stuff like that because I'm all about you know I'm not in shows anymore. I'm all about the look and feel of real. You know, that's what we said in Atlanta. The look and feel of motherfucking real. That's right. But I like this. No, it's not for, ooh, ooh. See, this, <laughs> this is, uh, this is really good, and it feels good, too. That feels really good. This is called L.A. Girl Velvet Bronzer. If anything, it just makes the face feel really good, and I just lost the top to it. Oh, well, I'll find it in a bit. So, those are some things that I'm using that, um, I really like. God.
Mm. So, Thanksgiving's in two days. If you're in a position to where um, you're, um, you can't afford very much, you haven't been invited anywhere, there are some places I know that are having um, Thanksgiving dinners and stuff like that. Um, I believe Impact, if you're in Concord, Impact is one of those places. Um, Impact is a, oh, I don't like that. Impact is a Pentecostal um, college. College. Pentecost <laughs> Pentecostal church. And, uh, let's fix my bangs. Impact is a Pentecostal church. And they do some really great things as far as helping, you know, those of us, those people that are in need. Now, if you're like me, you always had that preconceived notion that preconceived notion about Pentecostals where, you know, they speak in tongues, which they do, um, but the snakes and stuff like that, they don't do that during this time, you know. They're just there to help those of us who, or those of you, those of us who need help. And there's nothing wrong with asking for help when you need it, you know. Nothing wrong with asking, um, you know, just asking for a helping hand, not asking for a handout, right? Earlier today, I discovered one of the greatest songs I seriously have ever heard. Do y'all remember that play? It was a musical a few years ago um, about those guys from New Jersey. What was the name of that group? The, the, that group from New Jersey. I believe one of their songs was Can't Take My Eyes Off Of You. Well, I found um, a version by Gloria Gaynor, the um, singer of I Will Survive. I don't know when this song is from. Judging by the beat, I'm gonna say it's very late 70s, maybe even early 80s. But the great thing about the song is it's got this twist of Broadway to it. Just listen to this, this is incredible. I cannot get enough of it. I've been listening to it all day long. Gloria Gaynor, can't take my eyes off of you. Find the song and let's um, dance and dance to it and sing to it. I mean, we're not live, but you know. I'll be arriving next fall. Thank God I'm alive. Cause he's just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of him. Bye-bye.